I'm Mamoru Fukada. I'm 26. I own a small cafe in the city. My dad used to run this place, but last summer he got sick. Last summer. You feeling better? Not really. Well, I'm sure you'll feel better. Just take it easy, okay? Yeah, thanks. No worries, Mamoru. I'll be fine. I still need to look after you, so... <laughs> oh, Dad, I'm not a kid anymore. I can take care of myself. When Mom passed away last year, it was pretty hard on me, but... Hey, that reminds me. Do you want to take over the cafe for me? I don't know. I'm still working at that cram school, so... I need more time to think about it. All right. Fair enough. But if you can't take over, I'll just have to close shop, so... Think about it. That place meant a lot to my parents. I didn't want them to close shop, but I also enjoyed working as a teacher at this cram school, so I couldn't say yes right away. But then the cram school I worked at went out of business. I thought about getting a new job at a different cram school, but I decided to give this cafe thing a shot. It's not bad, but business is pretty slow around here. We only get a few customers in the morning and during lunch. If I don't do something, we might go out of business soon. Welcome! May I take your order? Um, one cream soda, please. Coming right up. She was a regular. She always came here in the afternoon. She always sat at the same table, ordered a cream soda, and studied. Is she studying for college exams or something? Uh, she seems stuck. I'm pretty good at teaching, but... I don't know if I should say anything. I might scare her. Ah, I know. Here. Huh? I didn't order this. It's on the house. You've been studying really hard, so... Oh, thanks. Are you studying for college exams? Yeah, I just got my GED from night school the other day, so... I want to go to college next year. Night school? Yeah, I stopped going to school when I was 17. Oh, I see. But you still managed to get your GED? <laughs> That's impressive. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what are you studying right now? Ah, Vector. Yeah, it's so complicated. You got everything right up to this point. But here, you got to flip this. Oh, right. Wait, how do you know all of this? Are you some kind of genius? No, it's not like that. I used to work at a cram school before all this. Wow, really? That's awesome. Um, can I ask you a few more questions about this section? If you're not busy, that is. Oh, sure. You're the only one here, so... Thanks. Can you teach me other subjects, too? Yeah, I taught other subjects, too, so I think I can handle it. Thank you. She seemed really happy. I'm glad I talked to her. Her name was Elisa. She came to the cafe almost every day to study. She started asking me for help every now and then. And she always brought flowers to the cafe. I got these from a friend, but I got nowhere to put them at home, so if you want it... I started decorating the cafe with the flowers she gave me. Our regulars really like them. I really like the flowers. They're pretty. I love this place even more now. Thank you. Thanks, Elisa. Then a few months later, one day Elisa came running into the cafe and she said, Hey, I got accepted to college. It's all thanks to you. Really? Congratulations. We should celebrate. What do you want to drink? It's on the house. Oh, no, I can't do that. You've helped me out so much already. If anything, I should be doing something to thank you. I know. Can I start working here? Oh, uh, sorry, but we're not hiring. We don't have that many customers to begin with, so... Oh, okay. But what if I get more customers to come here? Will you hire me then? Huh? Uh, sure, I guess. But wait, don't you have school during the day? 
and during morning and night, I'll probably be fine on my own. What if you get more customers during morning and night? Will you hire me then? Uh, sure, I guess. I didn't think it was possible, though. I was glad she was trying to help, but getting more customers was easier said than done. But the next day, Elisa came to the cafe with three scary looking guys. Yeah, this place looks nice. What the? She's friends with them? Is her family Yakuza or something? Is that why she had to drop out of high school? I got scared for a minute. I didn't want my place to become a hangout place for Yakuza's. But then the next day, she brought some young people. They were all very good looking. You should try the cream soda here. All right, I'll get that then. Same here. I don't like sweet stuff. I'll get a coffee. Coffee? Gross. I'm going to get the melon soda. The next day, she brought two young girls. They looked like they were still in elementary school. Then the next day, she came with this old couple. And the customers she brought here, they always came back with their friends a few days later. Thanks to her, the cafe was busier than ever now. Who is she? How did she pull this off? Then a few days later, Lisa came to the cafe by herself. Looks like things have been pretty busy around here lately. Yeah, it's all thanks to you. But, um, how did you meet all these people? Oh, we all work together. We're all in the same agency. It's about a two minute walk from here. Agency? What is she talking about? You didn't recognize any of them? They're all actors and actresses. Some of them are on TV shows. Oh, she means a talent agency. Oh, sorry. I don't watch TV, so I didn't notice. So you didn't recognize me either? No, you're an actress as well? Yeah, that's kind of why I had to drop out of high school. Things at work got really busy, so... How about now? Recognize me now? I've been doing this since I was a kid. Ah! Uh... You recognize me now? Actually, no. It's just that... It was my first time seeing your face, and you were really pretty, so... Huh? But sometimes I took off my mask when you were tutoring me. Oh, I didn't notice. Sorry. Seriously? <laughs> Whatever. Hey, uh, can I start working here now? But you're an actress, right? I can't hire you. What if people find out about this? I don't want this place to get overcrowded. And your agency, will they even let you work here? Well, the thing is, I took a year off from acting to prepare for college exams. I'm gonna start again in two months, but until then I'm free, so please. Well, ask your agency just in case. If they say yes, I'll think about it. Yay. I don't think your agency would approve though. But to my surprise, they didn't seem to mind. So it was only for two months, but I decided to hire her. She always wore a mask to hide her face. Our customers really liked her, but the two months went by pretty quickly. Then on our last day, here you go. Thanks for all your hard work. Oh, I can't take that. I was only doing this to pay you back for tutoring me. Yeah, but you did so much for me. I insist. Here. Thank you. You're really sweet. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks. That's really nice of you to... Say... Well then, time to go back to show business. Try to find me on TV when you can, okay? Did she just kiss me? So Elisa went back to show business. A few days later, this new show interviewed her. Turns out she was a pretty famous actress. I had no idea. Damn. Why did she kiss me? I can't stop thinking about her. Uh, she's way out of my league. She's a celebrity. I'm a nobody. But even after going back to show business, she came by the cafe every chance she got and ordered the same exact thing each time. 
Ah, that really hits the spot. This place has the best cream soda ever. Yeah, it's really good. My dad came up with the recipe. The ice cream on top is handmade. I see. She always came here with her manager. Hey, um... Yeah? Wanna go on a date with me this weekend? Huh? She's free to date whoever she wants, so I got no say in this. Huh? So, you wanna go on a date with me or not? <laughs> so we started spending more time together and a few months later, we started going out. We decided to keep it a secret for now, but I did tell my dad and he was thrilled for me. After that, he was feeling much better. That reminds me. My parents met at this cafe. That's why this place was so special to them. Well, now that I'm in charge, I'm gonna do everything I can to keep this place alive. Anyways, glad everything worked out. So his parents met here too. That's so cute. Anyways, I'm really glad everything worked out for him. And that cream soda, I'd love to try it myself. <laughs> well, see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.